Hey there. In this video, we will look into accounts receivable and dunning configuration steps in 10 minutes. We will look for each mandatory steps that are uh, required to configure the account receivable and dunning so that you can start using account receivable processes and dunning processes in your company code. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay. So in AR setup, uh, our first step would be creation of customer account group in OBD2. Okay. So uh, the customer account group is a client level uh, setup that we have to do and it is not like uh, we have to create new account group for every new company code or uh, there is no link between the account group and company right so we can use the existing account groups whenever we are creating new company code the next step would be creating the number range uh, for our customer accounts right so the so we'll go to xkn1 xdn1 right and yeah right so the number ranges are also uh, predefined uh, on the client level so we'll use one of those then next in next step we have to assign the our customer account group to the uh, to the number ranges that we just configured right for the uh, customer account number determination right Data. Right. So here uh, we have to check for right, assign number ranges to customer account group. So we'll just go into this. Right. So here we can see that the account group is already assigned with the number range 02. So we'll use that one. Uh, the next step will be uh, creating the uh, tolerance limit. Tolerance loop, right? So this is the uh, company code dependent activity. Each time you create new company code, you have to do this uh, this configuration, right? Uh, we are getting error, and entry already exist with the same key. Uh -huh. Right. So we already did this step when we were configuring the AP setup, right? So uh, you can check out that AP setup video. We will put the link in description. The next step is going to be creation of the recon account for our uh, customers, right? So in order to create the customer master data, we need to have the reconciliation GL account that we will assign in our customers, right? So uh, customer is going to be our asset. So we'll just create one uh, customer GL account customer recon gl account in asset group so we'll select the recon uh, account type as a customer then we don't need to take the open or line item management since it is recon account Save it. Okay, so the recon is created. The next is creation of customer master record. So in XT01, we will create the customer master. Check. Okay. Now we have to select the account group. Okay, we are uh, we are not getting numbers. Let's check the account group. One second. Right. So the uh, the description for our account group is sold to party. Triple zero one. So let's find out this uh, account group. this one so we selected the account group and we entered the company code now we'll press enter okay. 
the search term we will keep it as air 02 uh, just so that we don't have to remember it while searching okay someone someone had just made the this fields mandatory here So in company code data, we have to enter the recon account, which we just created. Then for payment term, we can select uh, one standard payment term. Then just save it. And that's all, right? So so far, uh, we have created the customer master record successfully. And uh, in next step, uh, we'll be configuring the dunning. The bill of exchange we are not including in our scenario. Right. So for dunning, we have to map the dunning area with our company code. F150 we can run the Dunning run and from this screen only we can also uh, access the configuration uh, for Dunning procedures you can see so all of these are the available Dunning procedures that we can use uh, and assign it in our customer master right we can check what are the uh, what are the configurations that are done in each of the procedures and we can choose accordingly okay so instead of, uh, instead of creating new one we will use uh, the existing one only So just assign this triple zero one into our, uh, our customer master that we just created. So Dunning, we have to enter it in uh, the company code data in correspondence tab. So let's change this and in correspondence, let's enter the Dunning procedure. Donating settings have been maintained for company code AF02. We have defined the donating data. Aha, it's right. Uh, we, have to, uh, we have to enter our company code into that Dunning procedure. So we'll just go to the configuration of Dunning. We'll, uh, we'll open this yeah so here we have to uh, here we have to uh, enter our company code so we will copy the existing entry and we'll just uh, put our company code name let's save this and now we try yeah here now we can now we are able to save this procedure right So we'll 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 try to post one uh, one customer invoice. Right. So 
let's select the customer that we just uh, created right uh, okay the number range is missing let's quickly create uh, the 18 number range in this fiscal year for our company code you had zero two So 16 number is uh, is the one we can use. So let's save this. Let's go back to uh, the invoice creation screen, and now we press enter. We can see the error has gone. Let's simulate this transaction. Okay, post it. okay so this means our AR setup is all good and we are ready to go right so uh, so this is uh, this is all about the ER setup and running configuration right so now if you see so far in our company code setup series we have configured the GL module we have configured the AP module and now we are we have configured the AR module so our company code is ready to use in all of these three areas in next video we will configure the asset accounting enterprise uh, uh, enterprise asset management and then we will uh, uh, we'll also set up the con so controlling configuration right and after that we will start to configure the the uh, the modules like uh, treasury module investment uh, project system or uh, the FIMM FISD integration setup so stay tuned for the uh, for the for the more videos of uh, like this and uh, don't, don't forget to check out the description box uh, where we have mentioned the the link to the other videos and the blog post that uh, that we have uh, on our website Oh. Stay tuned.